Hello, my name is Aisha, and as you can probably tell from the name of this video, I am new to booktube. So, so I decided for my first video to do the booktube newbie tag, since I don't really have an idea of what to do for my first video. So hopefully you get a little bit of information on me and get to know me better before you actually subscribe and watch my videos and yeah. So, so the first question is why did you start this channel? So it's kind of a funny story. So I've been wanting to make a YouTube channel for quite some time but I've never gotten around to it because I have school and I hang out with my friends and I did have work but I'm no longer working right now so I decided now that I have a lot more free time on my hands to start making a YouTube channel and since I love books and YouTube combine them together and join the booktube community so I'm very happy that I started this channel all right the second question are what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube so whenever I go searching for books I don't necessarily go to the most expensive place first I go to the cheapest place first so I usually go to like bargain stores and dollar stores and just search the book places to see if I can find any cheap good books and usually the books that I found aren't books that people necessarily talk about on booktube they aren't as popular but they're super good the books that I find in the bargain store so I guess I can bring that element to booktube all these books that people don't really talk about so I can give out recommendations for good books that people don't talk about and I know right now I'm kind of a little bit nervous because it's my first video ever posting on this channel but as I warm up to the idea of talking to a camera and having people see my videos um, I will get a little bit more comfortable with it and when I get more comfortable I get excited and I get outgoing and I get loud and I start I just I don't know I get a little bit excited about talking about books so I think that would be a good thing to bring to this booktube community third question are what are you most excited about for this channel so I'm most excited about interacting with new people and talking to people about books and having people comment on my videos and having people me comment on other people's videos and just start making new friends and everything. I love making friends, especially friends that read books because then I can rant about the books that I like and rant about the books that I don't like and just start talking about all the characters that I love and, and yeah, so I'm most excited about making new friends and giving back to the community that has gave so much to me and gave me the courage to start making this booktube channel. The fourth question is, why do you love reading? For me, I think details are the most important element to a book because it helps me imagine the book more and it helps me imagine the characters more vividly, the scenes more vividly, the actions that are being taken more vividly. I just love details in books. So the details help me imagine things and have me think of it like a TV show because you start reading it, you get into the good stuff, and then a cliffhanger happens and you're just like, oh my god, why did this happen? And then you just put it off to the side for a little bit, a little while. And then you start thinking about it and you're like, oh my god, oh my god, I want to read this. So you keep reading it and then you just, you know, finish the book and you just want to, you're starving for more so you start reading more books and yeah, so that's what I do. Fifth question is, what book or series got you into reading? So I started reading when I was very young. So around third or fourth grade, I read this book with my class and the book was called Lost. I'm not sure who the author is. I really, really wish I would re remember the author's name, but I can't seem to remember it because every time I go looking for it, there's so many books called Lost, so it's really not helpful. So the first book I started reading was Lost, and it was about this kid who found out he was adopted because he went into his parents' safe and found all these files or something like that, and I don't know what it was about it, but it just got me so into reading, and it was a pretty chunky book, so that was whenever I first started reading chunky books. Like, it wasn't my choice to start reading, it was my class's choice, but I'm so glad that my class have us, had us read chunky books because now I love really big books. And 
The sixth question is, what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? I would ask my favorite booktubers how they have so much time on their hands to read while going to school and working and going out with their friends and doing a lot of events and everything. So yeah, I would ask them how they get so much reading in while participating in their everyday life activities. Seventh question is, what challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? I think the hardest challenge to overcome will be, like I said in the last question, reading so much while I'm participating in my everyday life. Because right now I'm in summer, but after summer I'll start school and I'm job hunting. So if I start a job, I won't have enough time and if I won't have enough time to read. And then when I start school, I would have to read a whole bunch of books in school and probably won't have enough time to start reading books for myself. So I think that would be the hardest challenge to overcome. But I think I could get over it because if I want to start making a booktube channel, obviously I have to satisfy followers and viewers. So I would push myself into reading even more if I started this channel. So I think, yeah, so I think I would be able to over overcome that challenge. Eighth question is, when did you start reading? I started reading when I was, like I said, in third or fourth grade, and that was the time that everybody was reading, like, Junie B. June and Captain Underpants and a lot of, like, Diary of a Wimpy Kid and all of that, and everybody was just reading that. But once we got older, everyone stopped reading, but I didn't. I'm probably one of the only people in my friend group that reads. Um, most of my friends read like books that are well known talked about like when The Fall in Our Stars came out all my friends read that but I wasn't really into that book right when it came out because I was reading all these other books but then once I, once I had free time on my hands I read that book and I absolutely loved it so I knew what all the hype was about but my friends normally only read hyped up books. A lot of my friends hate reading but I absolutely love it. The ninth question is where do you read? Well I live in Pennsylvania so most of the time it's not cold so whenever it isn't cold, whenever it's hot, I read outside. I love reading outside. That's like my all time favorite thing because all the nature and everything is so calm. But when it's cold, when it's snowing, in the winter, I read indoors in my blanket, cuddled up with like, with my Christmas lights on. And I just, I get so, so comfortable and I just love reading. So I read really all over the place. Um, my favorite place to read exactly is we have this creek near my house and I like to walk to it. It's like a 20 minute walk. I like to walk to it and then sit down on one of the benches and just read a book. So yeah, it's pretty calming actually. And the last question is what kind of books do you like to read? Um, I'll tell you what books I don't like to read. It's not that I don't like to read them, it's just that I don't like to read them for fun when I have so many other books to read. So I don't really like reading biographies or memoirs or nonfiction books, anything like that, because they're all facts. They're not anything I can imagine in my mind. I have, I think I have a pretty vivid imagination, so I like to read books that just are fantastical or magical or have any elements like that. But my favorite books that I like to read are dystopian books and apocalyptic books like zombie books. So I like to imagine myself in people's shoes like zombie shows um, or zombie books. I imagine the element of zombies which you have to survive but you also have to survive finding food and water and survive from other people so I just like to think of it like that. So yeah. Um, and I just like to think about dystopian societies, like, since we live in such a, not perfect society, but we live in a society where things are more resourceful and you can find anything that you need, I like to think about different societies where that's not possible, you have to ration off food, you have to 
live a certain way. There are different rules and everything. I just like to think about that. So yeah, dystopian and apocalyptic books are my favorite books to read. So that is the end of my video for the booktube newbie tag made by Brenda C. So thank you Brenda C for making it. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and please subscribe and hit the like button and stay tuned for more bookish videos. Thank you.